This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story, a gripping true crime podcast that takes you deep into the chilling tale of allegations against Lucy Letby, a seemingly caring and dedicated nurse who harbored a dark secret. Join us as we unravel the twisted journey of a medical professional whose actions sent shockwaves throughout the healthcare community. It's the story of a nurse who went from saving lives to becoming the harbinger of death. This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story. The tragic case of nurse Lucy Letby continues as she faces trial for allegedly murdering seven babies and attempting to kill 10 others at the Countess of Chester Hospital's neonatal unit. One of the most distressing accounts involves the death of baby P, one of a set of triplets. Expert pediatrician Dr. Dewey Evans believes baby P was destabilized by the introduction of air prior to an X-ray, followed by an additional dollop of air that caused the first of a series of collapses resulting in the baby's death. In the aftermath of the deaths of baby P, and his identical brother Baby O, their distraught parents pleaded with medical professionals to transfer their surviving triplet to the Liverpool Women's Hospital. A Chester pediatrician who had tried in vain to save Baby P's life supported their plea, fearing that Lucy Letby posed a mortal danger to the surviving brother. The doctor testified that she desperately wanted the surviving triplet to be moved, as she believed it was the only way he would live. The trial has also heard how another baby, child O, allegedly murdered by Letby, suffered a liver injury akin to a road traffic collision. Dr. Andreas Marnerides, a pediatric pathologist, stated that he did not believe the impact injury to child O could have been the result of resuscitation efforts. He explained that the injury was consistent with an impact-type scenario and that he had only seen such injuries in road traffic accidents and non-accidental assaults by parents or caregivers. Dr. Marnerides was approached by Cheshire Police in late 2017 to review the deaths of several babies at the hospital. After analysing the pathological evidence and information from clinical and radiological reviews, he concluded that some babies died due to injections of air into their bloodstream, excessive infusion of air into their nasogastric tubes, or air embolisms in their circulation. Dr. Marnerides could not offer an opinion on the death of one baby, child E, as no post-mortem examination took place. The trial has also revealed that hospital administrators spent 11 months attempting to reinstate Letby in the neonatal unit, despite doctors' concerns about unexplained high mortality rates. The battle over Letby's possible return continued even as the neonatal nurse pursued a grievance procedure against the hospital. At one point, consultants said they would only agree to her return if the hospital installed CCTV throughout the unit. Dr. John Gibbs, a retired doctor, testified that he and his colleagues had become increasingly concerned about the unusual, unexplained collapses in the neonatal unit, in which staff nurse Letby had been involved. He recalled feeling uncomfortable when he came into the unit on June 23, 2016, to find baby O dying after an unexplained collapse. The doctors discussed every death and every collapse that occurred after June 2015, eventually identifying a common factor. However, for 11 months, senior managers were extremely resistant to involving the police. The pediatrician told the court that they had to keep insisting on police involvement to ensure the safety of the babies. As the trial continues, heart-wrenching testimonies reveal the horrifying reality of the events that took place and raise questions about the hospital's actions. This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story, a gripping true crime podcast that takes you deep into the chilling tale of allegations against Lucy Letby, a seemingly caring and dedicated nurse who harbored a dark secret. Join us as we unravel the twisted journey of a medical professional whose actions sent shockwaves throughout the healthcare community. It's the story of a nurse who went from saving lives to becoming the harbinger of death. This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story.